And by the way, given that we now are addressing that death should never ever occur, stem cells are not the answer. Because you, as a human, can regenerate your own cells and reprogram your cells. So whether or not you grow your own stem cells has no bearing on whether or not that really is good for you because if you're growing your own stem cells to then go and um, re, like, I don't know, put them somewhere else in your body, you're still taking your body's programming and putting them somewhere else. But that's not the point. They are now taking other people's stem cells from whether it's babies to humans to whatever and putting that person's programming, those stem cells, which is another person's programming, into your body. That is not good. That's no different than a freaking organ transplant that you have to keep your body immunocompromised so you don't purge out somebody else's DNA. Stem cells are being sold as like basic, they're, they're being sold as, as a panacea for like, you know, helping somebody get through their, you know, was it leukemia or lung cancer? I had a friend that I thought was on my protocol that was behind me and she is like advocating stem cells because it saved one of their friends who's a Nobel Peace Prize winner from, you know, imminent death from lung cancer. And I'm like, guess what? This person really needs to be drinking my juice and regenerating their own stem cells in their own areas without having to go and, and um, reposition them or relocate the stem cells. No. You should be making your own cells. But now you're taking on somebody else's DNA, like seriously, taking on somebody else's DNA and putting it somewhere in your body? I mean, that, that now is what they're doing. Like they're, they're resurrecting people with somebody else's stem cells. And then, you know, I remember the, 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 I was watching these ghost shows on you know on tv and everything and there had this one thing about like past lives and this kid allegedly had some past life you know dreams and having nightmares and i think you guys seen that on my facebook they were talking about this right well yeah you're taking on somebody else's energy if you're taking on an organ transplant okay or any type of transplant or somebody else's blood you're taking on their energy all of their memories, all of their programming, the DNA, all the stuff that they've ever had in their life, and you're putting it into your body. So it is, you know, blood transfusions to stem cells to organ transplants to any type of bone marrow transplant. All these transplants have taken somebody else's DNA and even having sex. When you're having lots of sex with lots of different people, you're taking on all of their energy, all of their programming, all of their mutations, and you're taking that in you. So we really need to be taking my recipe, understanding the regenerative qualities, and we need to start growing our own cells, regenerating our own cells. Not taking on somebody else's DNA. And so, yeah, science is now becoming like one huge gross experiment. When they're taking like a pig embryo or a human embryo and adding pig or human DNA to it to then create some kind of like hybrid. Well, that's what they're doing. And that pig or human this life is going to be coming, coming into the world as a half a pig in a miserable life. If it was a human embryo to begin with, then ply them with my juice and they can start regrowing. They can start generating to the, to the design of what they were before they had the pig DNA being infused into the egg or the sperm or wherever they're putting it. And if it was a pig to begin with, with human attributes, human DNA, then vice versa. And this is where science has gone completely freaking insane. Resurrecting the dead and creating hybrids. Oh, but wait, you know, we, we, we need to go, we need to, we need to go and, 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 and activists against the vaccines because of the mercury. 
Do you know there's mercury in the air? There's mercury in your food supply. There's mercury in all of your different pills, powder supplements. Um, what else? Your cleansers, your, you know, everything. There's mercury everywhere. There's heavy metals everywhere. You know, in, in the, in the, in these industrial areas, you're breathing in all of these extra heavy metals. Allegedly, if it's true, the chemtrails have mercury and barium and things, you know, that we're breathing in. You're getting your mercury all over the place. It's not just what's in the vaccines, okay? It's the actual DNA, the bacteria that is mutating people, but nobody wants to address that. But they sound so great being a doctor and being anti-vax. No, you're just playing within the freaking system. So, yeah, so stem cells are not the answer. Obviously, vaccines are not the answer, not because of the thimerosal or the mercury. It's because of the DNA, somebody else's DNA that's being put into your body, the bacteria that's causing mutations and and also future triggers. So, yeah, stem cells are not the answer either. All right. Bye.